Hey YouTubers, it's me, Lauren Michelle. I thought it was about time I did another tag, so I searched up tags yesterday and I found the perfect tag recently made by the YouTuber Floor De Force. It is called the Summer Loving Tag and I felt it was appropriate because it is summer and I'm loving it so far. So let's get started with the Summer Loving Tag. The first question is, what is your favorite lipstick of the summer? Now, I don't wear lipstick, so I have modified the question to, what is your favorite lip product of the summer? My favorite lip product is the EOS Lip Balm in, I think the flavor is just mint. But anyways, I also call it EOS. Just, does anyone else call it EOS? Is that how it's pronounced? EOS, EOS, whatever. Anyways. This lip product is great because, um, especially in summer, my lips get very dry and I struggle to find a lip balm that's effective. And this one's very effective. I mean, it takes away my dry, chapped lips immediately. So, I highly recommend this lip product. The next question is, what is your favorite nail polish of the summer? I used to be really into nail polish, but ever since I got into college, I have been so tired all the time that I never feel like painting my nails or toenails. But when I do, there's only one color I use. Black. It's just, it's like my favorite color and I love it and that's the only color I ever feel like putting on my nails. And right now I have Sinful Colors Professional in Black on Black 103. So, there you go. The next question is, what is your favorite bikini? I'm once again modifying the question because I don't own a bikini. I am changing the question to, what is your favorite swimsuit? I only own one swimsuit, so there is only one possible answer. But the swimsuit was very worth it because the halter top, I found it on the Roxy website, but it was sold out, so I had to do a lot of research in order to find it. I found one top left in stock at this discount store in my size, thankfully, and I was able to buy it and it was so worth the work because I love it. Here it is, it's gorgeous. The top is olive green and it has this really cute halter. And I wear the top with some plain black board shorts, also from Roxy. I love Roxy, what can I say? The next question is, what is your favorite summer frappuccino? I'm once again rebelling against the question because my favorite frappuccino right now is not one of their summer flavors. It is the hazelnut frappuccino. I tried it a couple months ago for the first time and I loved it and that's what I've been ordering every time I go there. So my favorite summer frappuccino is a tall decaf hazelnut frappuccino light with soy milk. The next question is, what is your favorite fake tan this summer? My favorite fake tan comes from Jergens, Jergens Natural Glow. I usually use the light to dark, light to dark, I'm sorry, light to medium, but this year I decided to start out with light to medium for about a week or two and then transition to medium to dark and that's really worked for me. So I highly recommend that system if you're as pale as I am. Here it is once again, the Eat Jerkins Natural Glow. The next question is, what is your favorite song of the summer? Now, if I'm being honest, I have not been listening to the chart-topping songs of the summer all the time. But the two songs that seem to be stuck in my head all the time are All of Me by John Legend and Problem by Ariana Grande featuring Iggy Azalea. So... There you go. I guess those are my two favorite songs that have come out in summer of 2014. All of Me by John Legend and Problem by Ariana Grande featuring Iggy Azalea. The next question is, what is your favorite accessory of the summer? I don't have a definite answer. However, I really like to keep things simple in the summer, especially when I go on vacation and I have to pack light. And, you know, I want to relax and I don't really want to put too much effort into my day-to-day -day look. So, the accessories I am generally wearing are my 
um, my Hebrew name necklace, my plain studs, and then my two rings. So, I guess those are my favorite summer accessories. Very simple. Not too much work. The next question is, what is your favorite book of the summer? Despite having three weeks off, I only finished one book, so I don't have a lot of options to choose from. The book I am choosing to share with you today is a book I read before the summer, but it is the last book that I was thoroughly impressed with. It is Surrender the Heart by Mary Lou Tyndall, and it takes place at sea in the Navy, so, you know, that's appropriate for summer, water, summer. And actually, I think I might read you the back, so you, you know, get an idea of what it's about. And I'll try to read it as dramatically as possible. On the brink of the War of 1812, Marianne Denton must marry to unlock her inheritance. Without the money, her mother can't receive medical care, and her sister will be destitute. But Noah Brennan needs to sail his cargo to England before the war commences in order to prove his worth to his father and make enough money so we won't have to marry at all. When Noah walks out on their engagement party, Marianne chases him down and ends up on his merchantman at sea. The situation worsens when Noah's ship encounters a British man of war and the couple is impressed into the British man. While a young lad's prophecy of destiny looms over them both, Marianne and Noah are forced to face their darkest fears as they desperately try to escape and fulfill their destinies. Destinies that could change the course of war and history forever. So if that doesn't pique your interest, I don't know what will. Surrender the Heart, Mary Lou Tyndall. Very good book. The tenth and final question is, what are you most looking forward to this summer? If this question had been asked, back in June, it would have been my summer vacation in California with my family. But now that that is over and done with, I am most looking forward to my college graduation at the end of September. I know that's the border between summer and fall, but this quarter from July to September at my school is considered the summer quarter. So my graduation is the summer graduation. So I'm most looking forward to graduating from college. Very exciting. So excited. If you have enjoyed this tag, please give it a giant thumbs up and then go on over to Fleur de Force's channel and check out her summer loving tag. Don't forget, she's the creator, so give her a huge thumbs up and then go check out the summer loving tags made by other YouTubers. If you would like to make this tag yourself, here are the questions once again. What is your favorite lip product? nail polish, swimsuit, summer frappuccino, fake tan, summer song, summer accessory, summer fragrance, summer book, and what you are most looking forward to. All revolving around summer of 2014. I will see you very soon. That's all for now, folks.